Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today you join me on a very impromptu video where we're going to be going through the shop car, the BMW N54, and very proudly so because why this is actually the fastest N54 over the one kilometer doing a speed of 275 k's an hour and then backed up with another 272 k's an hour. So yeah, the car still needs a little bit of work in terms of uh, a detail as well as some other stuff on the engine bay to neaten it up but I thought I'll do something just so that you'll be able to see uh, what's been done to the car and uh, what uh, the garage is about so we'll take you through the tour of the engine bay and uh, take you through what's been done here so in the engine bay maybe if the camera person can come closer and actually show them the engine bay so currently the car has a precision 6466 on the car when the uh, when the initial uh, uh, time was run uh, at both race sa as well as the bmw fanatics uh, event uh, as well as uh, i think it was the summer slam event at odi the car had a precision 6262 on there uh, we subsequently to that we've upgraded to a 6466 and this is a uh, i think it's about a 900 horsepower turbo uh, in the car itself we have a custom manifold uh, single turbo manifold this was actually the first uh, or rather the first um, uh, top mount single turbo manifold in the country itself we have a precision uh, wastegate that dumps out into the atmosphere and it does not go back into the exhaust so from a sound perspective it sounds extremely beautiful um, we have stainless steel or rather metal lines running to the boost solenoid a max solenoid we'll speak a little bit about the, what's done to the ECU but ultimately it's controlled by the JB4 and uh, yeah uh, from uh, from an ignition uh, from an ignition system, let me see if I can just take this off for you guys. Yeah, and we'll be able to see uh, what's done from an ignition perspective. Um, okay. Yeah. So from an ignition perspective, we have uh, the upgraded precision race coils on the car itself. Uh, this is uh, an aftermarket uh, option on the car itself and this has drastically reduced the misfires on the car. We still have the standard uh, injectors all uh, running along the sides, uh, all series 12 injectors, those are all custom. Uh, the, the motor itself is a, a fully forged bolt motor with Corello rods, JE pistons, ARP head studs, ARP conrod bolts and studs and uh, OEM gasket kit as well, uh, chromatic head gasket on the top, uh, there's, uh, there's valve work that's done to the car. We're just waiting on the cams from Shrik and hopefully we can install some Shrik cams on the car as well. And yeah, so that's part of the future modifications of the car itself. Along the, along the intake side, what we have here is we have an auxiliary fuel port injection kit sitting here with 750cc injectors. So we have six 750cc injectors and that's triggered by the hob switch uh, over here on the charge pipe, which comes in at around about 8 PSI. Uh, the hob switch itself also controls the, uh, the stage three low pressure fuel pump. We have two uh, 450 Waldros uh, sitting in the thing, so there's sufficient amount of flow on the inside itself uh, to the uh, uh, to supply the motor with sufficient amount of fuel. What we have here, what we have here is a TFT uh, charge pipe, and maybe if we can come along and just show them the welds. Yeah, the welds on the TFT charge pipes is absolutely incredible. Uh, it's for one reason that's why I got this charge pipe. It stands out from all of the other charge pipes where they normally just come. No, 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 what are you doing? 
yeah comes across from this way here and comes into the charge wrap i like the little pen that it has here at the bottom that is absolutely nice um we also have a 330d coolant tank reservoir on this side here and many of us are wondering what are these two cans here so these two cans are the dual catch can system uh, this particular can works of vacuum so you actually replace the line from this particular end with an external PCV valve. You can block the port on the head itself and then what will happen is you then eliminate the PCV system under the valve cover and everything happens within the sketch can. So vacuum sucks it in, sucks the oil in here and it gets trapped. So this is to reduce the carbon buildup. This is a normal catch can on this side here that vents into the atmosphere. Uh, this, this is a pretty simple uh, mod on that particular side. Sitting down there at the bottom we have a we have a 3.5 bar map sensor, uh, so just to give us a little bit more boost from that perspective. Uh, ECU side, ECU side is actually quite complicated. Uh, we have a custom MHD backend flash on the car itself. Further to that, we have the JB4 that's controlling the boost as well as some of the other safeties. Uh, we have a port injection controller from Fuelit. We have a two-step rev limiter on there as well as the JB4 Bluetooth Connect kit. So the ECU compartment is extremely, extremely full. But all in all, yeah, this thing needs a good engine clean uh, from that perspective. Uh, aesthetically wise, aesthetically wise in the engine bay itself, we have the uh, aftermarket, uh, well not, not really aftermarket, we have the BMW M3 cowl and as you can see how easy it was for me to take off the cover with the normal cover coming across this way I would have had to most probably take off the entire uh, cover itself just to remove this particular piece of plastic here We'll put this aside for now uh, Aesthetically wise what we have uh, along the car we have this carbon fiber bonnet extremely light extremely durable uh, absolutely brilliant quality in terms of this here for more information regarding any of the carbon fiber parts that you see here you can drop me an email in the link below or alternatively what you can do is uh, check it out on uh, instagram there's more pics on instagram with regards to that there. Uh, coming along the sides of the car the car is uh, the car has the original uh, bmw competition wheels from the I think it's the E90 or E92 M3s uh, yeah this is the original wheels I'm gonna be spraying this wheels a different color uh, as time goes by because this black attracts too much of dust there's the standard brakes I've upgraded the tires on all four corners they're running on Niova's 808s uh, fully tracked tire but it's good for the street only when it rains it's uh, a bit of an issue uh, coming to the side of the car here, yeah, we have an aftermarket side sill. It's actually not made for the car, we had to trim a little bit at the ends. Uh, but this side skirt was supplied by Dimensions. I'll put their particular details in the description below. And you guys can get hold of them to see if you want one of these particular side sills. It actually adds a bit of depth to the side of the car. Uh, along the car here yeah, at the back, itself, we have a also a carbon fiber painted Alpine Y3 uh, uh, carbon fiber boot. This is a CSL type. What I like about this particular boot that it actually has the curvature going upwards like this here. I didn't like the black spoiler that normally comes along this way here. The reason being is that uh, it's, it's a bit too bold on a white car. So I like this transition and for me this actually is, uh, you know, makes it much, much, much more aggressive from a rear styling. Down here at the bottom, I've, I've installed Akrapovic tips. Uh, the exhaust is obviously custom being a single turbo. Um, this particular diffuser, it doesn't run all the way back, but that's something that I want to address in the future, uh, make a complete under tray, maybe reduce the downforce a little bit. How, how it helps with the speed, I wouldn't know, but it seems like downforce is the new trend these days. Uh, this particular diffuser was supplied by Rensport and again I'll put their particular details in the uh, description below as well. Uh, coming along on this side here, oh and we have, the, we have the BMW, I think it's called the black line tail lights here at the back as well. Uh, also a nice modification as well. Coming on the inside of the car. So here on the inside of the car, this is where the actual magic happens, what we have here down yeah, at the bottom I have a triple pack custom quartermaster clutch 1500 
horsepower rated uh, but you can see this clutch is extremely hard to press in so daily driving is a bit of an issue on this car and there's a single mass flywheel as well uh, for anybody out there looking for a single mass flywheel uh, custom whether it be aluminium or uh, made out of steel uh, it just depends how you want it uh, you can hook me up in the link below and I'll be able to design and manufacture one for you then on the inside of the car itself uh, pretty pretty standard we have the BMW performance uh, steering wheel which is an aftermarket steering wheel uh, if you look at it it's actually quite cool when the lights do come on so that's actually quite cool and uh, here we have the BMW performance uh, gear knob itself uh, that's the BMW performance what I did do I retained the Alcantara boot uh, for it so it actually it doesn't have the white stitching here as the other BMW performance um, other things to note pretty much everything else is standard in the car itself uh, we have this red start stop button here which was also supplied by Rensport again the details will be in the description below um, yeah maybe uh, maybe we can just uh, put the camera by the exhaust and we, yeah maybe we can just put the camera by the exhaust and uh, maybe just give it a part of some revs you know Yeah guys, so don't worry, I did drive this car out, as you can see I apologize for the car being so filthy, it's very difficult keeping this car clean with this big massive oak willow tree that sits in front of the house itself. Um, yeah, so if you enjoyed the video, give it, uh, give it a thumbs up and uh, thank you and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.